everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Thursday! Oh my goodness, you guys. This is a video that I've been wanting to do uh, for a couple weeks now. We are going to go through the entire Bath & Body Works Halloween collection. Over 100 items. Oh, by the way, Greg got knocked off his perch here because I took my carriage down. We got to put Greg and Blair back so they can hang out together uh, while I'm doing my video. Oh my gosh, you guys. So epic Halloween this year from Bath and Body Works. By the way, check this out. I love this uh, blouse. I got this on Amazon. This is really comfortable. I like it for Halloween. I like the sleeves. I like the collar. Uh, I think I'm going to be uh, wearing this a little bit. And of course, the new witch hat from Spirit Halloween. Oh my goodness, you guys. So every year, Bath & Body Works seems to add more and more and more to their collection. And I think this year was actually really good. So I'm going to go through all of the products. Um, I think I have like 90% of the stuff. I get a giant bin on the floor. So I think I'm going to start with the bigger stuff and then we're going to go down. Now, a lot of this stuff is 50% off already. Go figure. I'm like, wow, already? Um, I feel like Christmas may be bigger than we think it's going to be because I'm really surprised Halloween is getting clearanced off already. So um, in terms of candle holders, uh, check this one out. This is the spooky photo. So there's a picture of a woman and then she turns into a skeleton. And same with the man on the other side. It is a three wick. I do like it. It's got like um, a little bit of weight to it. And I think this thing is like creepy in a fun way. So that was one of our candle holders uh, for Halloween. And then we have, we have uh, the gold clock. I'm not going to take my gold clock down because I'm going to knock my candle over. Uh, these were some years past uh, the busts. We didn't get a bust this year, but we did get this uh, beautiful gold clock. I love the clock. I got to say, we also got the hand. This is a fortune teller kind of globe thing going on. I kind of like it. It's got kind of a goofy, like, carnival quality. And then when you light it up, it goes opaque. And it goes through uh, the colors, like green. Um, I think it's going to turn blue next. And then back to red. Oh, no, it went to pink. It kind of actually, I think it goes back and forth between pink and green, but there's a little bit of blue in there, kind of, and this is a three-wick candle holder. So um, these have been pretty easy to get your hands off, your hands on. <laughs> I cracked myself up. This was weird, though, because the hands were a little strange. I like the ring, though. Uh, so we had that. Then we had the chalice. I gotta say, I love this. This is one of my favorite pieces this year. Um, the little dripping blood is a lot more stable than it was in previous years. Remember, he had the dripping candle holder that was breaking. Uh, these seem pretty stable. I have the um, Stranger Things vampire blood on this, and I absolutely love it. That was not a light up or anything. Okay, then I didn't even review this yet. This is a weird piece. This is the single wick. Let me grab this. Single wick candle holder. However, it doesn't really stay on there. I got to say, there's no, um, like, base for this thing. You know, you just kind of plop it down. <laughs> it's pretty. I got to say, I actually have this on my um, uh, buffet thing. I'm going to do a picture of my dining room at some point. But it, it's pretty, but it doesn't really work as a three-wick candle holder. So I haven't even reviewed that one yet. Where am I going to set this? i got to set this somewhere. Okay, we'll set this over here. So then, and I'm going to bring um, the castle out at the end. I, I didn't have room back here to do the castle. But this is the piece that got sold out, like, immediately. How much was this thing? Uh, this was $99. This is the light up, oh, it goes this way, uh, the light up uh, carriage. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. However, uh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. It got sold out right away. And this is a candle holder. The candle goes up here. 
I got lucky enough to get one of these in the store. We have not seen these since. So I don't know if we're going to suddenly get these back in September or if this was like a one-time deal. I do like it. It's kind of funny. It's got like the Headless Horseman. And then it's got like this cute little kitty in there. So how funny is that? Okay, so I'm going to set this somewhere where it's not going to break. Okay, we'll set that down there. So am I missing any candle holders? Um, do, 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 do. I think I got most of the candle holders. So good year for candle holders. We also got like these smaller, you know, metal candle holders. This is just like a sleeve. There's a matching. I thought I had that somewhere. Uh, soap holder. I like this one. It's got the skull and the raven and the pumpkin. I actually like the raven on here. That's actually pretty cool. So we got that. Three interesting three wick candle holders. So these came out, actually, I got my hands on these early. Where did my crown go? Oh my gosh, you guys, don't even tell me I did not bring Everlasting Magic. Hold on, I'm gonna go off screen for a minute and grab Everlasting Magic. I am back. <laughs> trying to keep everything organized. Uh, this is a feat in itself just to organize Halloween. This was the first candle that I got my hands on this season and it is Everlasting Magic. It's got the glass lid. If you can get your hands on one of these today, $12.95, get it. They're not online anymore. Uh, but this is really cool because the top is a crown. I do have an extra one of these. Beautiful. And then we had the Snake Midnight Spell. Check that out. Um, these lids do not fit very well. Didn't love Midnight Spell. Kind of matches my outfit, though. I like the Snake, though. It's got a kind of a Hogwarts vibe to it. And um, it's a nice collectible. The third one that was really interesting, which is absolutely beautiful, is Moonlit Graveyard. And it's got the carriage on it. And it's got the really spooky kind of stone ghost lid. I like this one better than um, the Midnight Spell. Midnight Spell is too deep for me, by the way. This has got kind of a ghostly figure in it. This one's really good. It's got that lacquer um, label on it. So that one is actually really nice. Then we got... Vampire Blood and Ghoul Friend. I can't find my Vampire Blood, you guys. I don't know where it is, but we got them in I have Vampire Blood in the single wick. Ghoul Friend, Vampire Blood. These were kind of neat. Actually, Vampire Blood had the skull, and then Ghoul Friend has got like kind of a like a floral butterfly. Pretty lids this year. And Ghoul Friend has got the purple wax. Usually it's pink. I love Ghoul Friend. Uh, but this year it's purple, which I love. And then the single wicks look like this. Gotta love Vampire Blood. Oh my gosh, that's one of my favorite candles. And then in this style, we also had the pumpkin carving. So that was the Halloween candle selection. Then we move into body care. So last year, remember we had Wicked Vanilla Woods and then we had Enchanted Candy Potion. Um, a lot of people are missing this one this year. I have a couple of extras of these. I loved this one. I actually have the candle. It smells like cotton candy. I mean, this is pure on sugar. I loved the packaging. I wish they would bring this back as an online exclusive. But instead this year, we got Everlasting Magic, which I love in the body care. This is the um, Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. It smells wonderful. Oh my gosh. You wouldn't believe how much Halloween I got. I got a whole bin down here. Smells amazing, the body care. So the cream, the shower gel, and the mist. No lotion in these. And then this is the Midnight Spell in the mist, and then of course Vampire Blood, which we got like everything in Vampire Blood. This one is fabulous. It's got that goth rose on it. I think a lot of people are probably stocking up on this one when there's sales. Who knows if we're going to see this again, but it is absolutely stunning in the packaging. We also got the Diamond Shimmer Fizz in all three, which I thought was interesting. Um, by the way, let me show you the shower gels. Uh, if you take the vampire blood outside and put it in the sun, it's actually purple. Everlasting magic. I love the shower gels, by the way. The shower gels are 
fabulous. Okay, so Everlasting Magic. I gotta do some demos on these. Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion in all three of the um, the varieties. What's interesting is they went a little different on the packaging on the Diamond uh, Shimmer Fizz or the Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. So we did have the regular body lotion. They gave us the Shimmer Fizz. So I'm going to show you what these are. I'm going to shake this up. I'm going to go like this. And these come out really cold. I mean, this is like freezing to the touch. It's kind of goopy. Um, but then when you smash it together, you get like that crackling. And then when you put it on, um, it actually does um, absorb into your skin. A little shimmer left. And it's not really slimy. Uh, once it dries down like a magical shimmer fizz. It smells really good. So I did get all three of those which was incredibly cool and then oh my gosh you guys there's so much more Halloween. It's gonna be a long video. The soap. Okay. Wicked Vanilla Woods. I love the stained glass windows. Um, Moonlit Graveyard. That one was fabulous. Um, Vampire Blood. Vampire Blood is beautiful in the soap. Both the gel and the mist, these could not be any more stunning. These are stock up. So we should be having a soap sale again at some point. I gotta look at my sale list. Everyone keeps sending me sale, um, upcoming sales, which is great. And then of course we have, oh, this is the Moonlit Graveyard in the gel. I ha oh, I have two of these in the gel. And then, oh, I have another Vampire Blood. So I have two Vampire Bloods. Now this is, the bottle is black or red, and the soap is actually clear because it is dye-free. We also have the Snake Soap Holder. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I gotta say, it's the same snake, I think, that is in the mist wrap that no one can find. Bath & Body Works was promoting the heck out of the snake mist wrap. Nobody got it, hardly. <laughs> There was like one, I think in all the Cleveland area, one of my friends got it. Um, it was in Mayfield, I think. But like those were the hardest things to get, even harder than the carriage. So now I'm going to grab I have a whole bin of stuff, you guys. Oh my gosh. So let me see if I can sort through all of this stuff. The carriage also comes in a wallflower plug-in. But instead of silver, they did it in the black, which I actually really like. This is a nice plug-in. Um, other plug-ins. We have, I just got this one for 50% off. This is the Light Up Cauldron. I need to do reviews on all these. That one is beautiful. I also got um, the Rose and the Snake. Um, this one is not a light up. It's just a plain old plug in, but it's super pretty. The Skull King. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to talk about the Skull King. Hello. How did I forget this? Uh, we got the Skull King this year. Check it out. A lot of people like this, including me. Um, it's kind of creepy and fun, um, but that was a neat uh, Halloween candle holder and we also got oh my gosh do i have that over here um i don't think i have that over here i gotta find it the creepy alien soap in vampire blood that looks just like this only it looks weird i don't know it's like distorted and then we got the skull king in um the plug-in this is a light up a lot of people love this one super cute i guess it's not super cute it's super creepy <laughs> Like, super cute. Um, headless Horseman. When this lights up, uh, you can see the Headless Horseman. So we got that one. The Bat. The Bat sold out early. A lot of people loved this jeweled bat. That one's no longer available. Um, oh, you know what? Else? I got a couple of other things in the other room. I got to show you guys the light-up pumpkin candle holder. I told you there's a lot of stuff. Um... Ghoul friend in the single wick. Okay, so now I'm moving into some of the um, car fragrance. Uh, this is, it lights up. Look at this. It lights up and then it changes color. You got to wait a little bit for the color to change. There you go. Okay, check it out. Color changing 
car fragrance clip. Okay, so we got that. And then we also have um, the car fragrance. Yes, we got these in Vampire Blood. I think we have them in Gold Friend too. Um, we also got this cute little Halloween. Oops, there we go. The Halloween bag. Uh oh, what the heck leaked? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gross. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have an accident here. I need a new bag. Oh, yuck. Okay, I think. Oh no, I hate when this happens, you guys. I think one of the wallflowers or the the lip gloss? What the heck leaked? Oh man. Maybe it was this. Oh, is this the culprit? Something was leaking oh, in the box. No, I think it might be one of these. Ah oh, man. Okay, I gotta do a, a cleanup here. Oh, ghoul friend. These come in ghoul friend. Um, the cute little Halloween bag is actually. I don't know. I can probably clean this up a little bit. It just got kind of warped. Uh, we'll put that off to uh, the side for now. <laughs> um, I got to review the lip gloss, the vampire blood lip gloss. What else is in here besides a giant mess? Okay. What the heck? The Bath Fizzy. I'm going to demo this out in my cauldron. This is going to be a lot of fun. Of course, we got all of the wallflowers. I'm actually thinking maybe it was a pocket bag that leaked because all my wallflowers are sealed. By the way, I love... Um, do I have two of these now? I might have two of these. I got to put this on my purse. I really love um, the spider with the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the gemstone. I thought that was super cool. So Vampire Blood. Um, this is the Moonlit Graveyard in the blue pocket bag. And then I think we have Ghoul Friend. Oh, check this out. This is super cool. This was a light. Is this light up? I know it lights up. I just don't. Yeah, look, it's a light up pocket bag holder crystal ball. That was cute. We also have the light up check it out creepy hand on the candle light up um i also have what else is in here i have a bunch of these this is the lanyard the light up kit kit how do you say kitten it's a cat it's a black cat and then we have oh my gosh you guys there's so much halloween um these are the concentrated room sprays in Vampire Blood and Moonlit Graveyard. These are fabulous, though. I gotta say, I'm super happy I got those. And then we have, check it out, the Antibacterial Spray in Girlfriend and Vampire Blood. You gotta be careful about these, though, because they do stain. This is a really dark red. I don't know why they did that, but it does stain a little bit. Okay, so I gotta do a major cleanup in here and figure out what's leaking. But we also have the wallflowers in um, Moonlit Graveyard, Vampire Blood, Ghoul Friend. Oh, look, I found, oh my gosh, you guys, I found the culprit. It's Ghoul Friend. You know what? I got to say, this was supposedly sealed. It's not sealed. This is, oh gosh, I got to get rid of this. Okay, that's going in the trash. Well, at least I found it. Um, so now I got to do a little bit of cleanup. Be careful, you guys. Um, if you reseal these, I might have done that. I don't know if I opened it. Uh, make sure you twist these on tight. Um, if the plastic's on, they should leak, but you just never know. Try and keep them upright, which I didn't do. That was a huge mistake. Oh, we have pumpkin carving, by the way. That's a good one. Um, so I'm going to do, there's just a little bit of oil in the bottom of this. So uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of a cleanup. I thought that smelled awfully good when I opened it. I'm like, that actually smells really, really good. Okay. So I'm going to go in the other room in a couple of seconds and grab um, the cottage or the haunted house. But let me see if I'm missing anything. A lot of stuff did get sold out. Um, oh, the blingy ghost. I bought one of those last year. That's super cute. Oh, the everlasting magic diamond shimmer mist. Oh, I have sweet whiskey. Where did that go? I have that. It's around here somewhere. That was fabulous. Oh my gosh. Love that. That's still available. Let's see. The sparkly spider web car fragrance holder. Um, oh, the spider web. It's a gold spider web with the purple spider hanging down. Single weight candle holder. I didn't get that yet. I probably should. It's actually on sale for 17. 
I might get that to round out my collection. Oh, the Gem Spider Pedestal Candle Holder. I got to get that. I'm putting my um, biscotti in there. Uh, there's a couple of gifty things in the Haunted Castle Projector. So hold on. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Check it out. I actually just put this up in my living room. Um, it's funny, when I first got this, I didn't love it. But now I absolutely love it. It is the light up skull pumpkin with the gold spider on it. It is absolutely fabulous and it looks beautiful when it's not lit. So this was a definite yay for me. Um, next up, we have, check it out. This is the um, spider web biscotti holder. Check it out. I love this thing. It's so cool. Um, you can put your biscotti in it. So I did actually put um, candles in it. I put biscotti in it. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed here with my desk. My desk. I just cleaned my desk off and now it's crazy. So the huge thing that is now um, sitting in my dining room is the castle candle holder. Oh my gosh, this is $250. However, if you waited it out, you could have gotten it for $125. There is a glow in the dark feature on the side, the little hands glow in the dark. It's really nice. Um, I love it this year. I gotta say, I am getting these every year now because they are, they're just beautiful. I like collecting these. Um, Halloween is so much fun at Bath and Body Works. And like I said, I think they did a really good job this year. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other pieces that I missed that I don't have yet. Let me see. There, oh, the Spooky Coffin Wallflower Fragrance Plug. I don't have that one. And then I think that's it. I think I have everything. So my estimation is with all of the little pieces, we are over a hundred products this year. If you count like every body care item, every pocket bag, every wallflower, there is a lot of Halloween to be had at Bath and Body Works. They went all out. It's funny because remember about a month ago, it was front and center. I mean, the displays were just out there and now of course you know they're moving into fall which is kind of interesting that they, they do halloween then fall and then they do christmas um a couple of things i would love to see at some point for halloween would be a scrub um i don't think we've ever had a halloween <laughs> scrub i think that would be really cool like i said i really wish they'd bring enchanted candy potion back um and i wish we'd have a chocolate Halloween collection or candy corn. I think both of those, you know me, I'm obsessed with candy corn. Um, but a nice chocolate candle, body care for Halloween, that would be really nice. Or, um, you know, like I said, a candy corn collection. I would love to see um, a candy corn body care. That would, I think we had candy corn uh, lip gloss the one year, but that was like it. I would like to see a full on candy corn collection. That would be fun. But um, overall, I am super happy with Halloween this year. Uh, one thing, like I said, they didn't do. They didn't do a bust this year. Instead, we got the clock, the chalice. Um, got a lot of good stuff, though. So anyway, oh my gosh, this was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed my epic Halloween video. It's always fun to do these. Um, this has been a real joy to collect all of the Bath and Body Works Halloween stuff. And um, as we move closer to Halloween, I'll be bringing a couple more of these pieces out just to show you how you can maybe display them in your home and uh, make something fun. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.